Just a week before she was killed, Lauren Wegner's parents say she told them she was happy and so glad she'd come back to be with her family here in Skokie. Bill Wegner had tried to talk his grown daughter into delaying a trip to see friends in St. Louis last week. And I go, you know, it's going to be dark in a couple hours. Why don't you just stay home? We'll go get a bite to eat. But reminding him, as she often did, that she's 35, Lauren promised a rain check. I gave her a hug in the driveway, you know, gave her a smooch, told her I loved her, and I waved to her as she drove out the way. That was how Bill Wegner said goodbye to his daughter. Hours later, an Illinois state trooper woke them with a knock. And then she comes back in and says she had on collision, didn't survive. <laughs> Prosecutors now say Shane Woods intentionally drove his car northbound on the southbound lanes of I-55 near Springfield while fleeing police. He slammed into Lauren Wegner's car head on. Mr. Woods faces potential penalties on the first degree murder charge uh, from 20 to 60 years in the Illinois Department of Corrections. Got the call yesterday, there was murder one. We were crying happy tears. Woods had already pleaded guilty to participating in the January 6th insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, admitting to assaulting an officer and a cameraman. I guess if he was guilty in Washington, maybe they should have held on to him then. Now the Wegners say he's taken their daughter. In Skokie, Liz Nagy, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.